the preseason starts tonight. Yes. Um, who are the best young quarterbacks in the draft class or who are just getting going? Who do you uh, like? You know what? I mean, the two kids that were drafted high, you know, I mean, Goff. traded up. Yeah, Goff. Jared and Wentz, Goff. Yeah, and Wentz, both of those guys, you know, you look, I looked at them a lot, watched film on them, and uh, they both have the potential to be, you know, franchise quarterbacks for a long time for, you know, Philly and for the L.A. Rams, and, and uh, they both look, look very good. Um, and there's just a lot of, you know, our quarterback, Ryan Tannehill for the Dolphins, I think has uh, got a bright future and he's a good player and he's going to continue. He's been saying he's got a yeah. bright future for a while, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, it's been, you know, he's just yeah. four, four years. Kayla Tausch, she wants to jump in. Kayla. Okay, where's, where's Kayla? She, you'll hey, Dan, I'm, I'm in New York right now. I wish okay. I were there on set with you guys. Um, I'm wondering if you'll watch the NFL on Twitter on Thursday nights. On Twitter? Did yeah. I watch it this Thursday night? No, they, they have a streaming deal with the NFL to carry the NFL games live. They paid a lot of money for it, and I'm wondering if that's something you would ever do or if you're you're a TV guy. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'll do it, but I don't plan on doing it, but I'll try it if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's look a little bit uh, to, the, to the question of football coming back to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Controversial move. I mean, the people in St. Louis were ticked off, but it makes sense for there to be an N NFL team out there. You how do it, you think? You hit it right on. How the do you think LA will will accept it? I think they're excited about it. They yep. should be, you know, and with a new stadium and what they're doing, uh, the Rams coming back out to uh, LA. I mean, you feel bad for the St. Louis people in that community because they've been so supportive of it. But uh, you know, LA is, I think, it's the biggest market, you know, in the United States, and they they definitely should have a team. And uh, I think everybody out there is going to be really excited. I'm sure the people that are with the Rams and and uh, work in their organization are excited about mm -hmm. going back to LA, no doubt. One trend that we've been watching is NFL teams accepting uh, games outside of the U.S. in mm -hmm. England and in Mexico. Is that a positive step for the NFL? I think there's no, uh, yeah, it's a positive just to spread the game worldwide. Uh, I play. I actually played uh, against Joe Montana and the 49ers, the Dolphins, at the first game in London back in I think it was 1989, mm. and uh, they've been developing that market in you know Europe, and uh, so I, it, it's uh, it's something that I think they'll continue to do. The Dolphins played in London uh, the last two years in a row. We're not playing this year, and mm -hmm. it was a great experience. It sold out games, and uh, they'll they'll continue to do Let's that. Let's talk sure. about moms, kids, concussions. Mm. Okay. Does the NFL uh, have the right answers here on player safety? Is football threat football yeah. threatened by the fact that so many parents, including in my household, are concerned about their kids getting injured? And uh, you know they have every right to be concerned. And I think uh, first of all, you how know, many concussions did you have? Any? Uh, a few, yeah, a, a few. few, a few over the years. But uh, feel pretty good about where I'm at right now. Um, but uh, let's take on first. I think the NFL and Roger Goodell and what they're doing, they're, they're, they're taking steps to make the game safer. There's no doubt. And they, they talk about it, and you can see it in the rules changes and all that. And, and they're doing everything they can, I think, to, to make it a safer game for the guys in the NFL. Now, as far as, you know, kids are concerned, you know, moms and dads have every right to look at their kids and say, hey, there, there could be a, you know, worried about injuries. But if you get with the right coaches and you teach it right and see what you hit, learn how to tackle, it's, it's not necessarily safe as time goes on. You can get injured. That's possible. It's always going to be there. But uh, if you do it the right way, I think it's a it's a great game and do, the kids will be fine. Do better helmets make people safer or do they make people lead with the head? Yeah, I think it's research. You know, they're researching that right now, you know, looking at new helmets, new ways to, to make the game safer. Um, that's why they changed the rules. They changed the rules. You see how, you know, the fines are huge now in the NFL if you're leading with your head and hitting, you know, hitting with your helmet and, uh, yeah. and using that as a weapon. So, right. you know, they're trying to do the best they can as far as a league is concerned All right, to Dan, when cover you, that. When you work through the therapy of the pizza versus sure. Nutrisystems, come on right. back and we'll figure will, it out. I will. I will. Dan will. Marina, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Really Glad nice to be to here. Be with you. All right. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.